Hey everybody! So, I uh, wanted to mention, uh, we are thinking about starting our haunting tour back up again. Uh, we kind of stopped the show, we canceled it for a little bit because of lack in equipment. Uh, I have a cheap camera right now, which I'm still using. Um, but we're going to try to start it back up. What we're going to do is right now, we're going to have to do videos during the daytime. Now, if we do do, if we, I said do do. <laughs> anyway, uh, if we do our videos during the nighttime, we're going to have to definitely use a lot of light. I do have a really, really awesome video light, um, which does put off a lot of light. I mean, it could shine on my camera for about 50 feet, somewhere around there. But anyway, so we're definitely going to have to use a lot of light if we're going to record at night. We're thinking about doing more videos during the daytime so that way you guys can see our faces real good. It's real nice and clear, uh, less image grain, all that good shit. You know, make our videos look really, really nice uh, for you guys. And at least for right now, until we are able to get a better camera, I am thinking about investing in a Nikon D750, which is a whole lot better camera. It has a full frame sensor in it, so it picks up a whole lot more light. So it's less grain, better image quality. Um, just a better all around better camera. Uh, I think a lot that would help out our videos, the quality of our videos is if I got a better lens because I'm using really cheap ass kit lenses which came with my camera. Uh, I wanna get a Zeus lens, which they're really expensive lenses. Um, Zeus lenses can get as high as 2,000 all the way up to like $20,000 for just one lens. And we can't afford that. That's really expensive. We're broke as, we're broke as hell right now. Uh, so, so we're definitely going to have to advance in our visual quality for you guys. I just got, uh, I got a drone for Christmas, uh, last Christmas of 2016. And I just got a GoPro for it. Just got a freaking GoPro, which is freaking badass. Um, show y'all. I don't know if y'all can see the box. Very good. Let me take the box out because there's not much light under my desk. Sorry about that, people. Oh, goodness. This thing's fucking heavy. Ugh. Okay, check it out. That's my drone. It's a 3DR Solo. I know it's a discontinued drone. I know it's, you know, they just stopped produ you know, production of them. But I wanted to get one. I've heard it's a really good drone. It did get really good reviews on Amazon and Google and all those websites. It's gotten really good reviews. Uh, it is a good drone. I've used it multiple times. The GoPro on it has, the video quality is phenomenal. I mean, it's fucking, oh, it's beautiful. Um, I got some very good shots today at the swimming pool with Elmer and Natalie, uh, which I will be posting up on YouTube probably on Monday. I, will, I don't want to give an exact date because my Adobe Premiere has been screwing up on my computer. That's another thing. I need to get a new laptop. I'm using a, a gaming laptop and I don't know, it's giving me issues now. It keeps crashing all the time. So I'm thinking about investing and in getting a MacBook pretty soon. Uh, so there's a lot of expenses that we have to spend in our videos. And that's why we're thinking about starting a, um, we're definitely thinking about starting a Patreon account or some kind of a, a website where you guys can donate money to help us out to improve and make our videos better. Um, and so we want to try to make the quality of our videos as best as possible to make, you know, our videos good for our fans. Uh, so, um, oh yeah, here's my case that my drone is in. Check that out. Has 3DR on it, and that's where my drone is in. Uh, it's in there right now, and it is bad ass. <laughs> I took it up 200 feet in the air today. 200 feet. Now I know I can go way higher than that. I can go like over a thousand feet in the air, which is higher than the the freaking Sky Screamer in Six Flags in Arlington. It's freaking badass. But yeah, this son of a bitch can go way up there. But um, I lost signal. A few days ago i don't know if it's because of the firmware update i just updated it not too long ago hopefully they'll fix that if that's an issue or whatever or it might have been because i had the antennas kind of flipped the wrong way so that might have had something to do with that but that's only happened once so far since i've had the drone um sometimes it'll lose gps signal but it's not as big of a deal because then i could just fly it in stabilized mode which isn't that big because i could just control it now i'm really good at flying them anyway i'm pretty good at flying drones so i can control it in manual mode with no issues um it'd be harder to record in manual mode because you know the camera may get a little bit more shaky it's not gonna be as stable but uh until i'm able to regain gps signal again you know just hit the fly to manual but some people may prefer flying theirs in manual mode i don't know but I, I like to use GPS because it helps, you know, the guidance system and it helps keep the drone from just wandering off, you know, because it will. It'll just 
float away from you if, if you don't have GPS lock on it. It'll just float away. But um, but yeah, it's a pretty good drone. Uh, I definitely want to get a DJI Phantom 4 pretty soon, or might get the 5 if it comes out anytime soon. Uh, I want to try to get a DJI. I love the drone I already have, but I would like to get one that has, because my GoPro has 4K, but the thing is, is I can't get a GoPro Hero 5 on it because the gimbal on it doesn't support the GoPro Hero 5. And so, and I'm hoping that maybe 3DR will release a gimbal that will work on it that you could put a GoPro Hero 5 or even a GoPro Hero 6 when it comes out. Uh, and it's not that big of a deal. I mean, just make a gimbal. The gimbal's only like 50 bucks. I mean, they can make another gimbal for the drone to support the GoPro Hero 5. So that way it's more universal. And so that way you're not having to go out and spend thousands of extra dollars on another drone. But that's the thing. Companies, you know. <laughs> but anyway, I don't want to get all into that. Um, but yeah, we're going to definitely try to advance in our, our visual quality, uh, our sound. We're going to try to make our sound better. Because uh, I do have a Rode Video Mic Go which is a pretty damn good microphone, but on a Nikon D3200, the ports aren't so good. And so it picks up a lot of hiss, or what a lot of people would just call like white noise or whatever. It could pick up a lot of weird hissing noises in the in the background. Uh, and I could fix that with Adobe Premiere because I have like low pass filters and high pass filters to pick out buzzing. You know, I could fix buzzing noises and you know the high, high pitch hisses and stuff like that. I could fix that pretty easily and it sounds really good and it gets rid of the background hissing noise. But the bad thing about it is it kind of lowers the quality of our voices and the audio itself a little bit. It kind of muffles it a little bit. And it sounds kind of like we're talking underwater, which sounds kind of weird. But um, it's not real bad. But uh, but yeah, I, the higher the decibels on my microphone, the higher the hiss. So it's I'd have to put a much more stronger filter on it, which muffles the sound more. So uh, definitely need to get a camera that has a low pass and high pass filter built into it already like the Nikon D750 it has a low pass and high pass filter in the ports uh so automatically so it's definitely something that we're definitely thinking about investing in pretty soon uh we're also going to try to uh want to get the uh Rode VideoMic Pro which is like a two or three hundred dollar microphone I know it's very expensive but if we're wanting to get into this in the long haul for you guys we want to make our videos better, we want to make our videos more interesting, uh, just let us know, you know, um, just let us know, let us know in the comments if there's something that y'all want us to change, if there's anything that we're doing wrong, whatever, let us know, let us know what you guys want in our videos, whatever, you know, whatever interests you, if there's a place, like let's say there's a, a haunted, you know, ghost town that y'all know about or something that you want to, you know, you could recommend to us, we could, you know, we'll try to travel there, we'll try to check the place out try to record it for you guys um just let us know in the comments uh but yeah um but i'm probably gonna go ahead and end this video uh and i have a lot more i need to talk about later but video is already running for eight minutes i really don't want to keep y'all for very long so i'll go ahead and end this but uh peace out and remember to like comment and subscribe hell yeah